channel. I hope you guys are having a good time. And uh, I thought we'd take a look at the price action at the moment, obviously with the significant pullback after having such a, a huge pump from $0.01 cents to $0.51. Cents. Uh, so not surprising, there's a bit of profit uh, profit taking going on at the moment, also uh, triggered by HexOG as well, and a few others that always jump on right as the price moves down, they want to capture that value, especially after a, a $0.01 cent to $0.50 cent move. The other thing, of course, is that uh, Pulse Chain uh, is testnets on play, so that's great. Uh, that was delayed, though, so these little sub these things do play into crypto. We all know that, of course, uh, into momentum. So uh, with the gap, of course, leaving a little bit of gap, but the Pulse Chain testnet is moving and that's good uh the problem is is that uh the launch date's possibly uh still six to eight weeks away and i'm estimating about eight eight weeks about middle of december uh, and that's very positive that's not too far away but it's uh, a long time in crypto as well obviously the other thing of course is the market is moving bitcoin is moving uh us uh, hex is kind of like a stable coin had a big run up uh some people sell down into other 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 tokens they see that are moving trying to capture those those uh, price moments now typically richard always uh, warns against doing that of course uh, trading because uh, really hex is a staking coin you stake it to make it and that's pretty much the lesson you got a 40 percent apy and of course uh the share rate goes up and to the right and of course the chart hex chart is the best chart in the last uh you know, uh, 18 months, two years on crypto. So uh, a lot of things to take into account there. Nevertheless, uh, we do have a, a retrace on at the moment. And uh, let's have a quick look. We're, let's take a big a big bird eye view. We've got the weekly chart here. Uh, and this is a USDC uh, as well. Uh, I think this is uh, yeah, version two, uh, layer two, uh, version two, I should say. So not layer two, version two. And uh, we've got a couple of, we've got the price action at the top here. So we're going to full screen that. And uh, you can see I've added in a Fibonacci retracement, which is common uh, TA or technical analysis uh, schema uh, for watching the, the price move up. So I've taken the price back from the 30th of November, uh, which it was sitting at uh, 0003, uh, so a third of a cent. And of course, it's rallied all the way up uh, when it moved up to, uh, well, in this high and the spike was 56 cents, but really uh, it's more around about 50, 51 cents. Um, and so we're just looking at the retracement there. You can see that at the moment it's uh, got a pretty much uh, uh, just gone past the 50% retracement to 28.5. Now, typically a good Fibonacci retracement might be, this on the weekly, of course, might be down to 22 cents uh, on the 60, but sometimes we can get a 78.6% retracement that would be down to 12 and a half cents on the weekly time frame. So this is really taking a big bird view, eye view, folks. I mean, that's weekly. Look at that weekly chart, beautiful. Um, but, uh, you know, you've got to take that into account uh, how the impact, of course, of that is. So this, is, uh, this chart goes all the way back to October 20, of course, on the weekly. So just take that into account and the time frames all up to the current day, the 11th of October here. Well, it's actually, you know, the uh, current date is uh, uh, the 17th at the moment and here. So uh, check that out. So uh, here was giving us a bit of a range on this big pullback. Uh, and uh, we could reasonably expect this uh, to um, uh, this to go down uh, to 61.8 retracement. That would give us about a 22 cent price pullback. So uh, is now the time I've talked about picking up bags. I think now is a reasonable time, of course, uh, with the 50 percent pullback. Uh, but maybe you think it might be 61.8. So that would be around about 22 cents. You might want to leave that. We do get a lot of green candles moving up on the weekly. Uh, so there's no reason why we wouldn't have another one moving down, for example, on a second week. Might, like I say, we do have six to eight weeks to go, uh, in my estimate, to the Pulse Chain launch. Uh, and uh, so that's the, on this side of the, on, in 2021, as opposed to something in January 2022, which is uh, sort of the, uh, is possible too. Uh, but I think it's more probable uh, that we're going to get a mid-December uh, Pulse Chain launch. So that would be pretty cool. Obviously, the anniversary of uh, HEX is also two years, is on the 2nd of December. Um, so interesting timeline then. I don't know if we'll quite be ready there uh, as well. All right, so I think uh, the initial price based on the weekly chart here is around about 22 cents on 61.8 and might reasonably get to that. Let's pull up some of the indicators, of course, I've got here. I've got the CCI, which is the commodity uh, index there. And uh, you can see that that on the weekly, that's just uh, been, look at that, been pumping on the weekly above uh, the 100 mark, uh, which is very bullish, right? Uh, you don't get many charts looking like this. Obviously, HEX is the best chart in the last 18 months, two years, and that's just the way it is. Um, and so uh, you've got to just starting to move back down and retrace here. And uh, the first time that it's moving underneath the 100 there, but still on a bullish line at 60. Uh, zero would be the crossover line that's right here. 
uh, at the moment. So uh, we'll see how that goes. It could definitely go back and have a bit more of a breather, uh, maybe even touch the uh, zero line there. Uh, we've got, also got the MACD. This is another uh, one on T TA, uh, moving average here. And uh, that's, you can see it's really positive, but it is moving back towards uh, the signal line here uh, in yellow. And uh, the volumes have uh, definitely moved off. And of course, we've got the RSI. Uh, this is also another good good indicator. And that's definitely uh, heading down uh, as well. So normally 60 to 40 is kind of the average range. And of course, if we get over 70, uh, we're in pretty bullish territory. But it's definitely moved back towards the 50. Uh, not quite there yet. So almost in the middle of the pack. And uh, so those are all obviously just representing the price action there as well. Uh, so let's go back to the price action on the weekly. Uh, and uh, we'll just uh, remove the old uh, Fibonacci there. Let me just uh, click on that. And I'm going to delete that. And uh, you can see obviously the red here. We've got the average here and the top of the Bollinger Bands. We've got Bollinger Bands, another TA indicator. And uh, you can see we were riding above the top of that. Normally, you don't stay over there uh, three or four uh, times in a, a, a row. In this case, we've got weekly time frames. And then you'd be pulling pulling back. And obviously, uh, typically, you might hit back into the middle. So the middle there is 22 cents. And we saw the Fibonacci 61.8 was 22 cents. So that's kind of the, the place to be at the moment. And of course, we could even get a second week that uh, might just dip past that. Uh, and that would be leave us as you count down, let's say eight weeks to the middle of December. There'd be seven weeks left after that and possibly having a nice pullback uh, in there as well. Now, you never know, of course, you get some whales coming in, uh, might stop a lot of the, the slippage and uh, that would certainly move it up as well. And then you get all the, uh, you know, the smaller, medium, uh, large investors following the whales uh, and helping pushing their price up. Uh, still super bullish for a dollar, a dollar fifty uh, by a pulse chain and launch. Obviously, we need to get signals of that, of course, to uh, firm that up. Uh, but definitely uh, one dollar on the chart and uh, you know up to one dollar fifty. Uh, definitely looking good. Now, I won't give you my next year's uh, uh, first quarter Q1 yet. I'll probably do it in another video, uh, but I have also a target for that. Right, so that's the weekly time frame. Let's go to the daily, of course. Uh, the current price at the moment of HEX is 27.8 cents, uh, which in the scheme of things is pretty good compared to where it was. But we're just saying, what uh, how, if the momentum is down at the moment, what will the momentum, where will it finish? That's kind of what we're looking at. Let's go full screen on the daily. We're now on the daily chart. So we're just currently uh, looking at the top here since the 10th of August here. So we were sort of trading sideways 10th of August, and then we moved up, right? So that's what the, the Fibonacci's on there. And we can see that a 61.8 pullback on the daily has already happened. Uh, and that was at 28.5 cents. And we've uh, dipped past, past that at uh, 26 and a half cents. So uh, certainly showing a bit of weakness. We've had uh, a couple of days of weakness and a big day, obviously with some big sellers. And we're going to check out some of these big sales as well. Uh, so be patient with that. We'll get there. Now 78.8.6% retracement will be 21 cents. That's similar to our weekly one at 22 cents. So I think 21 to 22 cents seems like uh, the place to be. But we also have a, in the daily, unlike the weekly, we have a 200 rolling average that's in the yellow. Uh, so we've broken the, the Bollinger Bands at the bottom and uh, normally you stay a couple of days below that. So we could still uh, stay maybe another day or two underneath that. Uh, and that could even go longer. Obviously, sometimes you can get up to seven days in a row. That's why I said about we could have another week of, of price movements. Don't be surprised by that uh, with downward momentum. When, when she, when, obviously, we have, when we have upward momentum. It looks amazing. When we get downward momentum, we can get that too. Uh, so... Uh, the price could on the bottom there is 16 cents. So kind of we've got uh, the weekly and the daily indicating that 21, 22 cents, uh, but it could get that go move down to the and test over the next weeks, say uh, the 16 cents. So just take that into account. That's kind of the uh, the secondary bottom range uh, as well. Uh, so 22 cents probably uh, reasonable and possibly could make the 16 cents. Uh, and there as well. So let's pull up, I was on the daily, let's pull up the indicators. We've got CCI, MACD, and the RSI again. You can see that we're definitely in negative territory on the daily uh, CCI index. This is a commodity index. They use that in commodity trading. Uh, you can see, definitely see that's down, but we could get it upticked, and that could uptick at any time, but it may travel sideways, maybe go down a bit further. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see the next day. So it's pretty pivotal uh, to see where the momentum fades out. The MACD, of course, has gone uh, gone negative as well, and obviously the volumes too. And the RSI is is below 30, so that's negative too. Uh, so it looks like it might stay there another day or two. 
I see, like I said, un, uh, at least another day or two, maybe up to another week. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Once again, uh, if we get some decent large sale, large buys, or some uh, significant whale buy, and we've had a lot of that. We have had that in uh, hex every now and then. We get some big whale buys that uh, to completely uh, set the tone for an upward momentum. So that's the uh, we do have that, and that's uh, one thing to take into account. All right, so that's pretty cool on the weekly and. Uh, uh, that's pretty much that. Let's uh, jump out of there and uh, let's go full screen on this and let's jump over to, let's get rid of this uh, this Fibonacci, delete that and let's go to the hourly. And so you can see the hourly looks pretty much like this, so pretty downwards at the moment. So, uh, you know, we've had a couple of candles here, uh, 16th, we've got this candle, this big sell down candles coming down a couple of hours in a row there between five and six in the morning. So that's American time. Uh, so uh, that's sort of like a North America, Europe type trading. And then we had some more sell downs here as well. Like I say, the one big hex whale is involved in that. Uh, and so this could easily continue to uh, trade down even though it's moving towards the middle there of 28 so i guess kind of at the moment on the alley we're getting a bit of a, a uptick there uh also getting a bit of uptick on the rsi as well and uh the macd is looking okay at this stage now i would say that uh, uh definitely we could see some more downward pressure so just be careful if you want to pick up cheaper bags uh, obviously stake it to make it is the, is the rule because you're going to get you know the, the share rates going up and to the right the uh, apy is you know 36 to 40 percent and uh, the wallet growth is, is continuing to grow, solid wallet growth and staking growth. So all the key metrics are going very nicely. Uh, and we still have some, you know, hex OGs that can sell down. So uh, you get an offset by that. So all those positive factors uh, get impacted by the chart. We've also got October, November with the big stakes, and that's almost going to finish, of course. Uh, so, uh, you know, you've got to balance out all those effects. And I think that uh, once we get into the, uh, to December through to the new year, we've got a lot of huge uh, pump of mentals playing out. Uh, particularly with Pulse Chain as well. Um, so it'd be interesting here. This is probably where we're at at the moment. It's probably the top uh, uh, where I'd be looking to uh, enter. So there's a couple of strategies you could do. You could enter here, uh, thinking this is the bottom, or you could uh, enter at about 22 cents, which is where I said is the sort of the, the top lower level or the bottom the bottom uh, top level as it might be. Uh, and then uh, secondly, you could, uh, or you could DCA in between this price and the 22 cents. But of course I did indicate that there's potential for 76% uh, retracement on the daily and it could go down to uh, 16 cents. Uh, and uh, so that's the case. I think the worst case scenario is 12 and a half cents. Uh, so 16 cents is uh, kind of the really getting bottom weekly there. And if that does happen, that would happen on the next couple of days to a week. Um, but uh, once again, you know, we're still getting some robust here uh, buying just live at the moment as we are. Uh, so those are a couple of the ranges. So that hopefully that gives you some some idea of where, where it might go. Sometimes I think it's possibly the next day or two. Hexes can be unpredictable, like I say, with big whale buys, especially at this level. It may, a whale could stop the downward momentum. Uh, we don't always get a 75% correction, 85% correction. Uh, you know, we could get a 60% correction. Um, so just take that into account. All right, so very cool. Let's have a look at some of the whale bots, of course. Uh, so we're looking at the hourly chart here. You can see some of the big candles, as I pointed out. Uh, we'll go full screen on that, and then we'll jump over to the hex whale. Try not to keep this, these videos longer than 15 minutes. Uh, so we're getting up there at the moment. All right, so hex whale this is the one. I did a special video on this, on this big hex whale back on the 14th. So we'll move on from there. Uh, and we're going to climb through. Obviously, this is the whale bot on Twitter. Very cool. If you're not following this, do follow it, because it'll give you the big signals of when people buy and sell. Uh, so it shows you on the 15th, 634,000 bought, and we just keep going up there. Uh, 2 million uh, sold on Uniswap. This is when we start getting the sell pressure uh, on the 16th. So we've got the 16th here, uh, here. so this is all the selling in here. Uh, and so we've got these whales coming in, 2 million there. Same account, this one, OX8DD, OX8DD. So sold uh, 2 million there, 2.1, 2.9, so 5 million there. Uh, and then we've got uh, a one point. Uh, uh, one sold, a 1.2 sold, that was the same on the 16th. No, that was a different account though. Uh, and then we've got uh, some good stakes in there. Uh, we've got some more selling, 1.4. So you can see uh, these big red candles in here uh, getting the sells, sells on. Uh, and then uh, we've got another 2 million sold there. These are all different accounts. Another 2.5 uh, million hex sold there. Uh, that's the same account as the one below. Uh, so it's 4.5 million. There's a lot of hex, and these would be uh, large hex holders like hex OGs. 
stuff like that. So uh, you can see that uh, that's the Altered 16th, just sold, just sold. Uh, these are all around millions here. And uh, that's just the way that it is. So uh, then we had a million buy. Uh, it was nice to see finally a buy come in, but we did have all those millions selling. That's just the way it goes. Uh, that's what's happened there. Uh, we had some good uh, some maturing stakes. Uh, another million sold there. That was 20 hours ago. Uh, another Then a million bought for t uh, 10 hours ago. So we got a nice offset there for the last day. So it did slow down a bit in the momentum. So definitely the 16th had a lot of, of big sales down. Uh, and uh, there's another million bought in the last nine hours. It's very cool. Uh, we've got a wild bot there just sold. 1.6 million. So that was offsetting. Another one there. Another million sold there. Offsetting as well. Uh, so definitely more sell big sellers than buyers on the bots. And then we had this end stake here an hour ago. So that's the end of the Hex Whale bot uh, stuff. So you can see some of the big uh, numbers there. Uh, it's definitely helpful. Uh, but actually at the moment, uh, obviously super bullish on Hex and staking. Uh, but uh, if you're trying to get the lower entry, like I said, I think uh, 22 cents is probably the, the first range that might get hit. And uh, I think as possibly as low as 16, and then you'll probably start seeing it bounce back. I don't think the 12 cent one will play out, um, but uh, the 22 seems seems most likely, uh, and then possibly the 16 cents. So that's my my food for thoughts. Uh, and I see it as a strategy. Uh, you could uh, buy all now at this price level, or you could just DCA from here down to 22 cents if it max it to that. Uh, and uh, that's probably be some pretty good upside. It's probably the reasonable strategy. Once again, not investment advice, uh, just for infotainment purposes, but those are my opinions on that one. So hopefully this has been a little bit in, uh, interesting to you. The weekly, daily, and hourly look, plus the whale moves, uh, it's uh, something of interest to me. So uh, once again, subscribe, like, share, hit the bell, and I'll catch you in the next one. Don't forget, I'll be covering tomorrow's uh, this day 685 close. 685 is going to be a lot of fun. Okay, catch you later and...